Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and in today's tutorial I will be showing you how to make fringe. And there are different types of fringe but um, I'm actually going to show you um, the fringe that you put like on the edge of a piece of felt. So I'm just using a scrap of black felt today and I'm using this light blue thread. I'm using six strands um, just to show you um, the full effect. Um, normally if you make fringe in a kit um, they re they usually ask for three strands or so but I'm doubling it so you guys can see what I'm doing. So um, we're gonna start with an edge so we're gonna work on this edge and the fringe stitch is really useful if you're making a kit that has um, a scarf on it you can put fringe on the edge um, I've also seen um, like little animals that have fringe for like the fur, so it can be used for lots of things. So we're going to start down here. We're just going to grab the edge here, and it's not going to be perfect because this is for demonstration purposes. Um, I'm, uh, you can go from the front or the back. I'm just going to go from the back and pull it to where you want it. And I like to do them a little longer than usual. Um, just so I can have something to grip, and we're gonna cut them. We're gonna cut it uh, when we're done. So we're gonna make a few, and I'm, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so we've got our end here, and then our long end. We're gonna take our fingers and kind of hold these two together. We're gonna take our needle. Okay, I'm gonna go really slow, and you point it down. Go behind both, like this, and push it through. And we're gonna make kind of a knot. Okay, I'm going to hold those. See how we're forming a knot? There we go. Good. Okay, so you can tighten it. And there's our first fringe. It doesn't look like much now, but it will when we're, when we're done. Okay, so I'm going to do a few more. And I'm going to go from the back this time. You can, you can go either way, the back or the front. I'm just going for the back. Okay. Uh, that's about the length I want. I'm going to hold these two together. Okay, I'm going to take my needle. I'm going to go behind both of them. Like that. And I'm going to form Kind of like a slip knot, almost. Hold on. <laughs> okay, here we go. Being difficult. All right. Let's try that again. Okay. I'm gonna hold those. I'm gonna go behind like this. I'm gonna pull, it, push it through. I'm gonna set my needle down. And pull it like that. And I can just go back and adjust it. And there's another one. Alright. We'll do one more. Coming up. Whoops, see what I did there? I pulled it all the way through. Didn't want to do that, so I'm just going to fix that about about there roughly okay okay I'm gonna take these two strands in between my fingers take my needle and go behind so notice I'm coming up and going down like at an angle hold on Let's see if I can Get this here. There we go. And then pull. There we go. I'm just gonna tighten that. There we go. That, see how it was a little too close to that edge? That's okay. 
this is just a demonstration. <laughs> okay, so there's three fringes. All right, say you're like, yeah, you know what, I'm, I'm done. Okay, I wanna cut these now. So grab your scissors. I'm gonna grab my scissors. And I'm gonna cut them all. Let's go about there. Okay, see how easy that is? And you can go back and adjust. There you go. Okay, awesome. And that's how you make fringe. If you have any questions about this fringe stitch, uh, leave comments down below. I'll be happy to answer your questions. If you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button. And notice they're still uneven, right? So you can even like trim them even further. Like this. Bam. Oops, see I missed one. There we go. Now oh, they're beautiful. Fabulous. They're not perfect, but you get the you get the idea. Please uh, check out the cards up here for more mini tutorials, and check in the description box below for um, my social media links, my Instagram, my Pinterest, my Facebook. I have, I have two Facebook pages. So I have a Facebook page and a Facebook group. So if you want to join my Facebook group, hit that link down there and just answer the three questions and you'll be accepted into the group to join my wonderful embroidery tribe. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!